The World Health Organization has expressed worry that the African continent could face a silent epidemic if its leaders fail to prioritize COVID-19 testing. The WHO Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus said this on Monday as the health agency focused on Africa's progress in the fight against COVID-19 to mark the World Africa Day. Ghebreyesus said Africa was the region with the fewest diagnosed COVID-19 cases, accounting for less than 1.5% of the global total and just 0.1% of deaths. He have noted that few African countries have the required preventive equipment in place to effectively tackle the pandemic. For many years, and from the outset of this pandemic, WHO has been working throughout our country offices to support nations in health emergency preparedness and developing comprehensive national action plans to prevent, detect, and respond to the virus. With WHO support, many African countries have made good progress in preparedness. All countries in Africa now have a preparedness and response plan in place, compared with less than a dozen in the first few weeks of the pandemic. 48 countries in the region have a community engagement plan in place, compared with only 25 countries 10 weeks ago. And 51 have lab testing capacity for COVID-19 compared with 40 countries 10 weeks ago. WHO continues to support Africa with other life-saving supplies. And as of last week, we have shipped millions of personal protective equipment and lab tests to 52 African countries. In the coming weeks, we plan further shipment of PPE, oxygen concentrators, and lab tests. However, we still see gaps and vulnerabilities. Only 19% of countries in the region have an infection prevention and control program and standards for water sanitation and hygiene in health facilities. And disruption to essential health services, such as vaccination campaigns and care for malaria, HIV, and other diseases, pose a huge risk. 